SCP-2616 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-2616 are contained at Site-18 in a 43.2 by 22.9 by 27.9 terrarium. A diet of hummingbird feed is adequate for their nutritional needs. On a cyclical basis, deceased subjects shall be removed and examined if deemed necessary. The objects are not to be separated under current protocols, although these protocols are still under examination by the Ethics Committee. It is not known whether separation is ultimately beneficial. Description SCP-2616 are two insects resembling Anastechus nitidulus family Bombyliidae. SCP-2616 are believed to be sapient. They have long memory spans and are capable of solving advanced problems. The objects die when their offspring hatch. Offspring of SCP-2616 are identical to their originals. SCP-2616-A and SCP-2616-B differ slightly. SCP-2616-A behavior suggests that it retains memories from previous generations. SCP-2616-B is capable of judging human intent. SCP-2616-A often makes physical contact by brushing against SCP-2616-B. When separated for testing, SCP-2616-A will refuse to eat. When SCP-2616-B is returned to the containment unit, SCP-2616-A will resume normal behavior. SCP-2616 was first discovered in the cafeteria of Site-18 on February 16, 2004. A researcher observed the objects consuming spilled juice on a nearby table. The researcher became suspicious of their behavior when he attempted to kill SCP-2616-B with a newspaper, at which point SCP-2616-A forcefully pushed SCP-2616-B away from the impact. On the third day of testing the original SCP-2616 pair, Two male Bombyliidae were introduced into the containment unit of SCP-2616. Tigerfly larvae were also placed in the chamber to encourage reproduction. SCP-2616-B was initially avoidant, while SCP-2616-A mated with an introduced subject immediately. SCP-2616-A was believed to communicate with SCP-2616-B during this time with an unusual wing-flapping behavior, after which SCP-2616-B mated with the introduced Bombyliidae. SCP-2616-B observed SCP-2616-A deposit its larvae and mimicked this behavior after an extended period of time. The original SCP-2616-A was in containment for seven days, moderately shorter than the average lifespan for members of its species. This is believed to be due to its temporary undernourishment. The original SCP-2616-B was contained for eight days. Two female Anastechus nitidulus hatched from the deposited larvae shortly after the original pair expired. The objects shared anomalous properties in physiology with the original pair. Testing shows SCP-2616-B does not have memory of previous manifestations, while SCP-2616-A retains these memories. SCP-2616-B does not emerge from the egg initially, and is aided in its hatching by SCP-2616-A. Each generation of SCP-2616-B is avoidant of SCP-2616-A during its first days of life. Basic behaviors such as walking and flying are learned through observation. SCP-2616 is currently in its 958th generation.